What's going on YouTube? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it's a fantastic day out today. It's gonna be sunny, um, not a cloud in the sky. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, big work day today. I, usually, I get up, I got up about six o'clock this morning. And usually when I have big work days where I got, got kind of got a lot going on, I like to start off pretty early. Just give me some time to stretch out, enjoy the morning, walk Bella, which I'm doing right now. You know, have some coffee and you know review, review my goals, all that good stuff. Um, but no, today's gonna actually be pretty cool because we have a subscriber, someone who watches my videos that uh, is wanting to shadow me for the day. He actually is, 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 is he's in the Austin area. He's wanting to start his own business, his own power washing business, and he called me the other day. And uh, pretty much straight from YouTube, just says, hey, look, I watch your videos, and you know, he wanted to ask me some questions and um, any pointers and stuff. And I said, hey, look, you know, Monday, which is today, we got a big job, and I'm sure there's a lot that you can learn. Um, why don't you come along and uh, shadow me for the day? And originally, he was just gonna be watching me because I had already had a helper, but my helper canceled. So, it's gonna be kind of a learn and earn type day with my guy Benjamin so it'll be inter interesting to meet him I'll bring him on on the video and he's excited about that and uh, anyway guys yeah this is a huge flat work job that we're going to be doing uh, up in Pemberton downtown Austin area that's where all the old money is lots of money in that area huge house like 5,500 square foot um, all the flat works got two driveways steps pool area concrete in the back um, and we're gonna be flat work cleaning all that. Should be around a $1,750 job when it's all set and done. We'll see how long it takes us. Um, but yeah, guys, let's go see you at the job and let's go meet Benjamin. All right, guys, we're right here at the job, waiting on the homeowners to come out. So we got this whole big driveway, big driveway in the back and then the pool area. As you can see, these steps are really nasty too, so we'll hit those. Really nice house. We got Benjamin on the job with me today, local viewer from here in Austin, Texas. And we're gonna bring him on the job and uh, yeah, bring him on the job, show him a couple things and uh, show you how you do this thing. So let's get everything fired up, get started. All right, so I got Benjamin on the rinser. He's gonna go ahead and rinse everything down for me. Then I'm gonna hit it with a, about a two or 3% pre-treatment. Those stairs as well and then we'll get him on the surface cleaner. He's only done about 10 to 20 driveways in his career, so it be interesting to teach him a couple things about how I do it and see what he thinks. So let's get to it. We got Benjamin finishing up the driveway. We went ahead and cleaned all this, post treated everything. Now we're just waiting on the post treatment to work on these stairs. As you can see, it's already starting to lighten up. And by the time he's done, we'll go over there and surface clean that area. And uh, so far this section of the driveway only took us 45 minutes. So we are rocking and rolling. Nice big house. And uh, the neighbors actually came out here and wanted to tell me that they wanted nothing to be shoved this way. They wanted everything to go this way. So, you know, I always run into Karen every now and then. So, I'm uh, mixing a 5% mix. Hi 
right, guys, we are moving right along. This is the back side of the house. We went ahead and did that whole front side. This is where all the kind of pain in the ass part is. Big driveway section here. We'll hit this area, which is kind of stucco. And we got to clean this areas over here. We'll clean up this little tarp right here. My guess is I'm just gonna go ahead and downstream that and see what kind of result I get. looks like someone's already been trying to power wash that. I'll definitely take a picture of that, make sure I'm not responsible for any kind of marks that made. Now let me show you the pool area. I got Benjamin back there, rinsing everything down, making the surface clean for me. Beautiful home, guys. So, he's here. I'm gonna hit all this section here. We're gonna lay about a four or five percent on this as a pre-treatment, and then we'll clean it, and then we'll post-treat with the same mix. Should turn out beautiful, get some nice pictures. And I was actually here last year doing the gutters. So, very familiar with this house. Looks really good, Benjamin's doing a great job back there. Yeah, definitely. Right now. And we'll get this area. guys I'm at the front while I got Benjamin working in the back but I'm just gonna come over here and check out this steps so as you can see it looks perfect looks brand new we did a 5% pre-treat we surface cleaned it then we hit what we couldn't hit with the surface cleaner with a wand and then we came back with the post treat on a 5% mix so um, that'll always work I always like to go hot um, a lot of guys do whatever they want you know they go lower lower percentage but multiple applications i like to get in and get out uh i do my due diligence as far as rinsing the plants down make sure nothing gets harmed but i'm the kind of guy i don't like to do multiple applications i don't like to mess around i go hot um and then i'm out of there so this is old benjamin's rig right here he's got a nice van got some ladders on there he's doing his thing he says he loves my truck.
freaking power washer uh, line busted. So pull cord busted. Where is it? Right here. So thankfully, Mr. Benjamin had a power washer in there, little four gallon a minute setup, and we were able to finish the day. So turned into being being saved by a viewer, not showing viewers pointers and stuff. So or a little bit of both. So there we go. We're all setting down. We're out of here. Four hour work day is about $1,700 is what we did on that job. So pretty good. We did have uh, a couple things busted. My power washer pull cord busted. And thankfully Ben, Ben had his power washer with him in his van. So we went ahead and plugged his right in, finished the job. And then my ball valve O-ring fell, fell uh, blasted right out of my ball valve. So I'm going to be ordering another one of those. And, uh, Got to fix those things before Wednesday, because Wednesday we're back out on the truck. So we'll be needing to get those fixed. If any of you guys are in the Austin and surrounding areas and you guys want to, uh, you know, take a day with me, go uh, follow me around the power washing day. Uh, I'm always needing a helper too. So if you kind of want to learn and uh, earn a little bit of cash, I'd love to have you. Other than that, guys, July is going just as planned. I'm still trying to make this the best month ever. Leasing is going good power washing is ending up really freaking good uh and we're only halfway done guys i mean we've still got about two weeks left so still trying to just pump them out um other than that guys i think that's gonna wrap it up for today pretty short and sweet video and uh yeah what's going on guys it's a couple hours later in the day and i just want to share with you guys something that i'm kind of going back and forth with an old client of mine a power washing client so check this out So I've actually done work for this guy last year, back when I was just started, or a year and a half ago, back when I just started, I did his side of his home, did a little soft washing over there, and he was making the point back then, well, you need to be, you need to be doing it cheaper because you're using my water and my bill. And at the time, I didn't really have any rebuttal for that. I was like, well, I guess, I mean, I mean, I guess I'll pay for that, right? It's just so stupid, right? But back then, I was like, man, I really need to get some jobs. So he did his job and everything, but here, now you're listening to the guy. He just called, he texted me uh, earlier today and he wants to get his roof done because last year I gave him one of my flyers, had a roof cleaning uh, picture on it. And then there you go, that's, you know, got the call. So I was kind of excited, but then I realized it was the same guy and I know he was gonna be a little a stiffler. He's just gonna, you know, want it done for so cheap. And here he is saying that, you know, it's an 1,850 square, square foot house. I charge him 35 cents a square foot. That's six hundred and fifty dollars to me. I'm just not gonna go out there and do it unless it's for that price. And he just goes, "Oh, well, it's a basic job." He says, "Go lower. It's a basic job." I don't think this guy has the slightest clue what roof cleaning is, and I've told him before. But you know, <clears throat> look, I'm not, I'm sure in Florida or wherever you, some of you guys are on the East Coast, where it's a lot more competitive. Some of you guys are doing it for cheaper than thirty five cents. You know, thirty cents, twenty cents, fifteen cents. I just think that's ridiculous. And I just had to explain it to this guy, like, look. I'm, it's not, I'm not just spraying concrete water. I mean, I'm going on a roof, uh, a wet roof that I could potentially fall off of. I got to pay a guy to be all around the surrounding area for however long it takes, an hour, two hours, uh, you know, to irrigate all the plants and grass so it doesn't die. I'm using expensive chemicals, very strong chemicals. If you breathe it in and you're not wearing a mask, you could pass out. Um, and if it gets on your skin, which is kind of inevitable, uh, dude, that's not good. So, I mean... And then not including paying myself and setting portion aside for taxes. When you add in all that, you should not be doing. And I just explained to him, roof, roof cleaning is a luxury service. Don't sell your guys short on this stuff. I mean, it's not, it's not just an aesthetic thing that we're doing, you know, cleaning the roof and it looks like it looks really good. Like, no, we're actually doing like maintenance prevention, like that black mold and that gliocapsa magma that's on all these roofs and stuff. That's actually eating into the, the granules of the roof. And it's actually like, 
deteriorating the roof and it can cause leaks uh, in the future because what happens is that black mold, it grows into a moss and it starts lifting up on the shingles. And so the roofs can, can very quickly look like shit and just totally tear up the whole roof if you don't get it taken care of. So, and that's, these are kind of things that um, obviously should be charged and it should be charged correctly. So, you know, I like to think about 30 to 40 cents a square foot. This guy, you know, it's just not gonna be me. You know, don't be afraid to just say, hey, look, you know, this is what it takes to clean a roof. And I'm just not gonna, I'm just not, I'm, it's not worth the risk going out there, putting me and my guys out on there on the roof, dealing with these chemicals if it's not for that price. Unfortunately, you just gotta kind of say it. But you know, some of you guys might be just like, you know, I need the work, I need the work, and that's fine. Um, look, go out there and work for whatever you guys think that your time is worth. You know, whatever, if it's worth it to you, by all means, go out there, get that money. But, you know, in certain, certain situations like this, when a person says, go lower, go lower, and, you know, you're using my water bill, the easiest rebuttal for that when they say, oh, you're using my water bill, and, you know, you should, I should get that savings back is, hey, look, Trucks can't drive around with more than 100 water uh, gallons of water on a single load, right? And you guys can correct me, it might be 150 or 200, but you can't drive around with a full tank of water, right? So that means we're coming to the house with 100 gallons of water. Let's say you're using an eight gallon minute system. What's 100 divided by eight, right? So was it 12, 15 minutes? And if it's a four gallon a minute, then maybe, you know, 25 minutes so you're not gonna you don't, you don't you don't have that much running time of water before you run out if you're just going full bore the whole time which you know if you're cleaning concrete you're gonna be sitting there using all the water so you have to connect to a homeowner's water source there's no going around that any company out there doesn't matter if it's you know if they're doing commercial or residential 95 percent of the time unless they're just doing a small eight by eight patio and they got 100 gallons on deck they are gonna to have to connect to the water source. So there's no going around that. It, it just is what it is. Uh, if you're a homeowner, it's not like they're sucking the water out of your system. It's no different from just turning on the hose and leaving it on for however long it takes. Let's say you got a pool and you're a homeowner, just turning on the hose, leaving it on the pool, let it fill up for an hour or two. It's not like it's sucking the water out of your system and it's running your uh, water bill through the roof. It's just like leaving the sprinklers on for an hour or two or Water in the plants, there's no difference. It's not like we're sucking extra water. The, the spigot is on just like it would be on, uh, you know, water in the plants and all that, so on and so forth. So that's my little rant. Uh, this guy has not responded yet. I'm assuming he's gonna be like, oh, damn. You know, he's probably pretty right. <laughs> I don't see him going on a roof, being however old this gentleman is and uh, doing that stuff. So that's it for me, I'm out. Bella says she's out too. Later, y'all.